guys. It's me, Sarah Kirchhoff, the children's minister here at Maples. Tonight, I'm reading the devotion for tonight, December 27th. I'm going to be reading um, out of Luke chapter 2, verses 22 through 40. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it was written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace. According to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said to him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, for the tribe of Asher. She was a great age, having lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. Then, as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the child to all who were speaking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. So with this passage, I tried to put myself in Mary's sandals, obviously. She was just bringing her child to be presented at the temple like all of the other firstborn males. However, a man took the child in his arms, saying praises to God that he could finally pass on because he had seen the Messiah. Guaranteed, you know, Mary was probably accustomed to the mysterious and wonderful ways the Lord works, but I know that I would have been shaken for sure. I think that this encounter testifies to the impact that we have in other people's lives. No, I can't imp impact others the way Jesus does, right? But I do believe that even the little things we do can make a difference. It could be something obvious, like buying a water for a homeless man on the street, or it could be something you don't even realize you're doing. So if there's anything that I can leave you thinking about today in this Christmas season, I want you to think about how every encounter with someone is an opportunity to impact their life, even in some small way. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I pray that you open my eyes to see and my heart to love. Help me to see what I can't and, be, and show compassion even when it's hard. Help me to live my life every day knowing that everything I say and do can make a difference. Amen.